it's done it. This episode has killed me. And now I am dead. Thankfully, however, my death is only as permanent as Sherlock's, and so we're probably gonna be okay. Right, let me tell you what I thought. Number one, the plot. Steve Thompson, you may not know much about jury service, but your utter lack of Hollywood hacking was a joy forever. When Moriarty said, did you honestly think that I could cra hack into anywhere? I thought, no, but I didn't think you knew that. Two, John. Cold open, I went, wait, John's not dead. Artie will be pleased. It was, he was, all of the awards. Three quotes from John and I nearly wept. Friends protect people. I was so alone and I owe you so much. One more miracle, Sherlock. For me. My heart. This is my heart. It is broken. It is shattered into pieces and lying all over the floor. And then at the grave, just nod, straighten up. Soldier John, I honestly thought he was going to salute. And I think I would have cried. Three. Mycroft. Oh, Mycroft. I'm glad the Diogenes... Diogenes? How do you pronounce that, anyway? I'm glad I got a mention regardless, but... Oh, Mycroft, you utter moral for Molly. I think Molly was one of my favourite things about this episode. She just sees so much. You look sad when you think he can't see you. And I don't count. And you do count. And I've always trusted you. And, and oh, my heart. It just broke. Again. And now I understand. Five. Sherlock. See, Sherlock has always been my favourite, but I never quite got Molly's sort of puppy-like devotion to him, and now I kind of understand how you can be completely in love with such an idiot, because this is the episode in which Sherlock becomes a hero. And he becomes a hero by making his best friend watch him jump off a building. Yeah, there's just so much there. He cries when he's lying to John. He's standing on top of the building and he knows that he has to jump and he knows that he might die and even if he doesn't, he's probably not going to be able to see John again for a very long time. Why does he make him watch? Well, two reasons. One, he needs to be dead and John needs to think he's dead and John needs to see him die as do the people who are following John or John will die because he's afraid and he doesn't want to do this on his own and he only has one friend. This is as close as we're going to get to a love letter from Sherlock. I was fully prepared for this episode to break my heart but it suckered me in with the fan service and chemistry porn and the funny, oh the funny, and then it hit me with the emotional sucker punch. The dialogue, as always, sparkles and so much funny, especially the tea. There is a lot of tea in this episode. Everyone's having tea at 11 o'clock when places get broken into. Oh, there's a criminal mastermind. He's just been let out of jail. He's probably coming on a murderous rampage. Best put the kettle on. I also like the little touch where the tea set has a map of the British Isles on it. They suckered me in with everyone being awesome and funny and cool, and then they broke my heart. I will get over it. Because series three is now confirmed, and we're going to have to wait a long time for it. But we are the Sherlock fandom. We can wait. In the meantime, I'm going to go mourn, make tea, eat chocolate, and wait for the DVDs to come out. See you soon.